Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more EU4 The Three Mountains. Playing as Ryukyu, fighting the Ottomans, Bengal is about down for the count. Delhi is taking out Gujarat and they are going to go for Transoxiana as well. Which should be relatively easy. I'll go ahead and tell them to also take Bukhara. This allows me to free up a lot of my attention. We've gotten quite a few forts. We managed to kill a lot of cavalry. He's still pretty strong, and if he stacks up, he can do some serious damage to me. So by no means are we uh, free to just sort of skim through this war. Gotta be careful. But I am A-OK -okay with the direction this is going. Chernigov, we are going to influence you. Since we have some Duplin Diplomats, let's go ahead and start rank uh, ramping up their opinion of me. I'd like to get a couple of free vassals. Chernihiv Revolutionaries. Ooh. I don't know if I could handle having a revolutionary vassal. That would not be good for me right now. Yeah, he's going to kill Milan. I do not know what you're doing there. Okay, that's the last colony here. Done. I'm going to send you guys probably down over here. What is this? Breton Canadian Separatists. Oh, I don't think so. I do not think that's going to be allowed. Leon being more or less dead is sad, but they're not completely dead, which means I can still feed them land when we do fight Castile and Portugal again. Uh, what I'm most concerned about here is that the Ottomans are going to turn around and attack me in Tyrol. Because they're coming up north right now. I'm hoping Bohemia is going to assist me. We've won the Siege of El Karak. Good. We will go and grab Tabuk. Actually, no. We're going to come over here. With the intention of jumping on 54,000 infantry with no cannon backup, hopefully we can do some very serious damage to him here. He has not started retreating yet, so he hasn't figured out what I'm doing yet. That's good. Okay, he's retreating. He has indeed figured out what I was doing. Good. Alright, that's fine. Uh, he breaks up a siege with 51% progress. That's not bad for me at all. Let's see. Oh, hello. He's got more troops. This one is significantly more balanced. Man, he's everywhere right now. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and continue working on two forts at once. He's working on several forts too is the problem. Like, I'd really like to dogpile on him. Let's see if we can get a dogpile. I'd like to take out some of these numbers. I like to thin him out, thin the herd. Okay, so he did get a... Uh, this is this a fort? No, he didn't get a fort. He got some random territory down here in Shervin, but we'll get to kill some of them. Rightful ownership on Fuzo. Not a chance. Okay, that was... Oh, he did get a fort. Never mind, that was the capital. Okay, so he killed 15,000 infantry. Easy. Working on one, two, three forts there. Getting this one back. Working on one, two forts. No, wait, we're going for a dog pile, And then we'll work on two more forts up here. Working on one here. He's got 100,000 troops running around over here now. Yeah. Bohemia, I hope you are paying attention, because this could become very, very bad. He's going for Mantua. I mean, if Bohemia could go on these two forts, that'd be excellent. He's kind of holding back. We did get Constantinople, I just realized. Okay. So now he's down to 44% war score. And low war enthusiasm. So, just hypothetically speaking... What could I get out of you? We definitely want to take Cahir and Alexandria. I don't know how to pronounce that otherwise. So we definitely want to take this... And this. Those are two forts... Tabuk, Yanbu. Can we return those as cores? Not Tabuk. Yanbu? That one we can. Um, I haven't occupied any forts in this area. Since it is split off from the main force, it cons it's considered territorial, so I do have to siege down forts to take any of this. Good to know, and I'll do that later, but right now we're fine. So we'd want to take Tabuk. Is there no cores on this from anyone? Nope. Okay, so we want to take that. I'm just thinking what we would do, okay? There's nothing actually here in Musul. I kind of would have expected there to be um, someone I can release. Iraq. 
Does a rock exist? I don't think... Oh, wait. What's this? Nope. Nope. That's Artabill. Yeah, so a rock is dead. So we could release a rock and feed them Moosel. Right. But those are things that we could do. Ostracon, I could feed off to no guy. Not worried about that right now. What about down here in Greece? Does anyone have a core on Kofu? Greece does, actually. I just want to know roughly what it would take to just get stuff that I want. I mean, obviously we want to go for a full 100% if we can. Uh, Milan would not be optional. Probably Mantua as well. And Cremona. Tyrol belongs to Austria. Austria is somebody I could release. And they would have a lot of cores I can use in the future. So we try for that. Try for these. You don't have any cores. You do, though. Syria. Could I release Syria? Yes. And I think Haleb also would belong to them, so that's two more forts I could get rid of. And El Karak. This would get rid of almost all of his forts in this general area. Well, not all, but a lot. And then I could just feed a lot of land to the Mamluks if I wanted to, to feed, make them stronger. But no. No, 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 no. Stay focused, Provis. It's all about the forts. What about... Serbia? Transylvania? Wallachia? There's a lot of little guys I could release. Like all that. It'd be a t bunch of little guys I can use to get rid of forts directly and then also uh, feed cores in the future. It's actually not a bad idea. Might even work. What about you? You're a fort. But you don't have a core. I could release Trebizond. As another fort. Or work my way to Ostrakhan so I don't ever have to worry about this again. Ostrakhan apparently is its own independent thing. Fun. But I can't make it into a core, so that's a no. Alright. Yeah, this would be a 99% peace deal. It's cancerous and would be border gore as heck, but... We're thinking 100 years from now, in order to avoid truce breaking, what am I going to wish that we had done? Uh-oh. What am I going to wish that we had done? I'm going to wish that we had taken a lot of forts so I could easily win some of these fights. We're going to force march our way out of here before we get murdered by 56,000 Ottomans. Okay, we got reinforcements on the way over here. Uh, I don't know if he's about to jump on me over here. France, what are you doing? He is coming after me again. I can escape, and it's going to be a little bit. I need kind of the time. I'm going to keep trying to dance around him. Okay, sit tight. I think he just figured out that I have reinforcements coming for him. We're going to keep these guys together as larger stacks from now on, I think. Too much risk. Okay. Uh, these zones of control are kind of holding me back at the moment. He's going to get Mantua and Milan back. For Oh, there goes Mantua. All right, Bohemia is sticking nearby. We're actually taking a lot of attrition here. 4.1%. That is hurting. But this is what has to happen. No one else in this game is a threat. It's just the Ottomans. So I will do what it takes to take them out. Where are you going? You're going over here? Hey, Delhi, if you want to block him... 
Explain to me how he's able to go to Bahrain if Delhi's in this war and should be able to block him. How is that possible? I don't know, but you know what I'd love? Control both sides of the strait so he can't go anywhere. That'd be amazing. But no, we can't get to Qatar. So let's get down over here. Want a siege? Good. Can't push for another. Wait. Scratch that. I found some Ottomans. Send you up over there. I'm going to have these two guys jump on you. He's not getting his capital back if I have anything to say about it. Okay, we won the Siege of Kirim. Split, split, split. Split, split. Split. Okay, let's go for some carpet sieging. In the safe areas for now, until I can figure out what to do. I know he's got an army somewhere up over here, I thought. Or was it all over here? Might be all over here. Alright, so this army is ready to go. We should unseige the forts of our allies, so he doesn't have any war score to work with. Uh, he's attacking me in Tyrol. This is exactly what I did not want to see happen. I don't even think I can escape. Nope, I literally cannot escape, and I don't have a general. This is going to hurt. Bohemia, I really wish you had stuck around. Uh, there's a good chance I get stack wiped with 60,000 troops right here. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, that hurt. And that is why fighting in the mountains is dangerous. I should have just backed out when I saw that was going on. Well, I'll trade you. It wasn't a good trade, but I'll trade you nonetheless. We'll kill these guys. There's the Siege of Dagestan done. The siege down Trebizond, I guess. Okay, now he's going for probably Oman. You know something? Fine. If you want to do that, you want to base race? We'll base race. Let's go for these forts. All right. Um, all in all, that was pretty good. We need to get reinforcements up this direction. Actually, kind of need to unsiege Greece if possible. Bohemia is playing it really dumb right now. That fort's done. Good. Let's send these guys up here to try and reinforce around Bohemia. Him unsieging all of this is a pain because these actually are difficult forts to get my hands on. They're too they're too strong, and I already spent military power on them, so losing them kind of hurts. But oh well. Is there anything I can do to, like, sabotage you in some way? I can corrupt your officials, but that's not what I'm looking for. If I had 80, would I absolutely go for the, um, sabotaging of recruitment? Heck yes. For now, I'll just enjoy the free... siege ability on you. Go for a little bit more money. Got plenty of money sitting around right now. Training fields, I can get a couple more of you. Stock exchange, couple. It actually is worth building these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's worth building these in some of my uh, vassals holdings because guess what? They transfer all their trade power to me. So it's technically like getting trade power for myself. I just realized how valuable that is. That's very valuable, in fact. Um, Mamluks, I don't know what you're doing. There goes the Siege of Milan. Gosh dang you freaking Ottomans. Still got your capital. And the longer I hold on to that, the better. Bohemia is about to get just stomped on. I really don't know why they're insisting on doing this. Alright. You need to just go unsiege all these before I forget them. I don't want them getting independent. How are we doing over here? Gujarat is down for the count. Bengal is down for the count. Have you guys all just back up for now. We'll need you to put down rebels and stuff later. Nobody should be stacking on me. So all of you guys should be heading to the front line. Why are you sitting around? Go and be helpful. Tell you what. Go be aggressive then. Since you're not doing anything in being supportive, go take your own initiative and be aggressive. Alright? Alright. Alright. 
trying to think. How much manpower do you have left? 68,000. He's still holding in there. Sweden will cede a bunch of land off to Russia. Um, okay. Sweden is going to have to die. That is a lot of Swedish separatists that are moving around, too. Can't do anything about them at the moment. Maintain the diplomat with uh, Chernigov. I forgot we want to continue influencing some of these little guys, so we can try making them into vassals before we go to war with Russia. Who probably ought to be our next big target. Liege rejects peace. Where are you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I... Find a way to maneuver around him and attack him. Not in the mountains, though. I can kill these guys. Okay, hang on. I can't remember. So we control this fort. Do we get the defensive terrain penalty? Or does he? He's got 100,000 troops, so maybe it's not a good idea to do anything with him. I'm gonna let you back it up. Obsessive perfectionist. I don't care about construction cost. Of all the negative traits we could have gotten, that one's pretty mild. Okay. Um, I actually think carpet sieging is a dumb idea right now. If I'm being honest. Forget this. Forget the carpet sieging. It's more important that I keep the troops in position to actually just go keep killing things. You know, it would be really probably smart to send you guys to get some reinforcements over this way, because I'm, I'm struggling on this side of the strait. Okay, do I want to spend power to blow up in any more forts? Kind of hurts to spend my power on level 2 forts, to be honest. The odds of us getting good progress here should be pretty strong, as is. Him sieging down Oman is fine with me. I don't care about my vassals. That's the funny thing. They don't actually matter. Everyone else, on the other hand, they matter. All right, he's coming after me in the mountains. Uh, we have Bohemian reinforcements, I hope. He's set to force march. Is he going to come and assist here? He's sitting on this fort instead. Bohemia, I need you to help me here. You need to come and join in on this fight. Oh, now you're going to help, but you're going around. So he did get the minus two penalty, which is exactly what we wanted to see, and now our reinforcements are coming in. Okay, so that's good. Now we're looking solid there. Can I catch out one of your armies and kill them? If I can do some cleanup work over here, that'd be great. My air is slightly better at combat. I'm going to risk it. Get my air in charge. Three-star general. Better combat. That should work. All right. Perfect. Like seeing that. Uh, go for... Let's go for Tyrol. You guys can stop stacking on me now. Go do other things. Actually, no. What? You know what? Turn around. Let's go kill these guys. Come on. Let's go attack them in Vilnius. Siege of Belgrade. Good. All right. What's left? Um, we can unsiege Croatia, but I don't care about that. Shervin's already working on Corfu. Well done. I don't think we're going to be able to cross this straight. The odds of him letting me across feel extremely low. So instead, I'm going to send you to go back over here against things like Mantua. Okay? 49% war score is not as good as I would have expected at this stage of the war. It feels like we should be in a far more dominant position than we currently are. I'm going to hold you right here. Oh, good. Rukwa's done. Nice. Let's go here next. Russia declares war on Polotsk. No, no, no. I haven't... I didn't even... Ah. I was going to uh, proclaim their independence. Guarantee it. But you didn't let me. Oh, well. Subsidies. We'll give you some. A little bit. Chernigov. Polotsk is going to die. Cut my losses. Stop improving with them. But we're going to get Chernigov as a vassal if I have anything to say about it. And they were the valuable one. They're the ones that matter. So that's fine. Alright, we're going to go kill these Ottomans. They are mostly infantry. 
We have plenty of um, extra reinforcements coming in. Look at Bohemia plus Prussia. Well, I say Prussia. One troop from Prussia. Come on, Prussia, though. You can actually help me. Oh, look at that stack wipe. That's beautiful. All right. I want to I wanna find a way to trap this army and kill him. Go to Tyrol. Let's see if he can control his avenue out of there. That fort is done. Split, split, split. I'm just going to do this while I figure out what to do with you next. So you guys are on your way to go and protect Trebizond. These two forts are almost done. I'm okay with you crossing the strait and leaving if you want to leave behind some troops. Or I can just sit here and watch you cry. If I can just, like, pin these guys down and not let them enjoy the fight, that's a win for me. Even better if I don't actually have to fight them and lose any manpower over it. It's just like removing 56,000 troops from the game. Scotland has been full annexed. Had to happen eventually. Okay, so now he's sitting over here. We've won the Siege of Kish, so that's back. Looks like all of this has already been unseaged. Transoxiana, so I'm getting some war score by keeping you, but I could also just finish you off. And by finish you off, I mean I could take a lot of stuff, but not actually finish you completely off. Is it worth holding on to them for the war score? Honestly, probably. I'm not going to peace out with them, at least until I know how things are going to look against the Ottomans, because there's a good chance I want to hold on to that war score. Same with Bengal and Gujarat, honestly. That little bit of extra war score might make a difference in a really good peace deal. And again, far more important to me that I'm able to take on the Ottomans than anything else. We lost the siege up over here, alright. We won this siege, though. I need to take these two forts before we end anything. That's a definite. I'm, I'm, I'm talking as if this war is already over. It's not, by any stretch. I'm still looking... Okay, now he's retreating to the west. Hey, okay, that's actually fine, because that's another 50,000 troops that are just leaving the fight. Which gives me free reign to do more work. What's really left, then? All of these forts. There's so many forts for the frickin' Ottomans. It annoys me how many forts you have. Oh, that was convenient. Sure, some peasants to weaken you up a little bit. Cool. Tell you what, I'm just gonna go kill this five stack. You can try to reinforce, but I don't think you will. I think you're just gonna let him die. You know the 5,000 free kills. I'll take it. He could slip behind me if I'm not paying attention. It's not the, scene, not the end of the world, but... Yeah. Okay. Um, go grab some of those. I do need to be mindful of his war exhaustion. If it gets too high and he starts spawning a lot of um, separatists, that could become painful. We're going to go ahead and spend the power to blow this open again. Both of them. I don't want to get caught out in the mountains ever again. Also, I want to get these forts down quickly. What happened to all your troops? Did you just retreat 40,000 or did you just ban some troops? I don't think he would have disbanded. That wouldn't make sense, right? No, nah, there's no way he did that. Alright, so you need to move over this way. Well, okay, so I guess one reason to move Transoxiana out of the war is because he's got like 40 some thousand troops that he is contributing. So getting them out could be helpful. Um, he did manage to get that fort. I'm going to go ahead and back up over here. We won the Siege of Tabuk. Good. We want to jump on this. Tell you what, you go to Gaza, you go to Sinai. Let's block him off and then we'll dogpile. More kills for me. Now there's the rest of his troops. Okay, he's moving into Gascony. Well, I got level 8 fort sitting over here. I mean, you might be able to get the capital of Provence, and yeah, that sucks, but... Outside of that, big whoop. Uh, how are we doing on that ticking war score? We got another 20 to go. 
I definitely do not want him taking back Constantinople. It's one of the reasons I want to keep an army in this general vicinity, so I can react if he does do something I don't like. Okay, so those 2,000 troops are dead. That's fine. Okay, now he's got 65,000 troops. We just lost the Siege of Halib, so he's got a lot of reinforcements coming on this way now. You know what? I'm okay with just keeping this as a large stack. I'm not taking the risk. Actually, sit tight, siege that, get a general, then you can jump on him. Alright, where are you going? You're going to go all the way over that way to Wusta? Tell you what, I'm just going to sit back here since, again, you can't really go anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and unsiege this. Um, I guess I can keep the air over here. Just hope he doesn't die. Okay. Do not want you taking this fort. That's just more stuff I have to worry about. Particularists have fired. Okay, now I gotta be cognizant. If there are particularists running around, they could pop up in areas I do not want and really hurt me. Bohemia is just swarming and honestly not getting their armies together. I'm noticing little one stacks everywhere and that's really weird. Alright guys, let's jump on him. 29th, that's fine. Coastal Desert, not really good defensive terrain or anything, but that's fine. Just don't want him getting that fort, and I'd rather just go ahead and take the uh, free kills. Okay, he did discover me. There's really not much I can do against the Ottomans now. Um, I'll issue an embargo, though, because I guess I could have done that a while ago. Chernigov. I proclaim a guarantee. You are attacking Polotsk with Russia. Costly embargo because of the Ottomans. I guess because they're not my rival, but do I care? Nah. Okay. Um, Croatia is getting a lot of their land back. Under siege, which is nice. Got the Fort of Maria. You're still working on Corfu. Doing great. I have you actually just sit here on Constantinople. Let's make sure that if he does bring anything over, he hits the straight penalty and takes a lot of damage. How's this fight looking? Pretty okay. He's sending in reinforcements, but not enough. There go 27,000 infantry for you. Where are you going to retreat? Let's chase him down. If I can. Wait, you're not going where you said you were. Wrong army. He might be going to Alexandria. Well, we need to siege down Alexandria anyway, so let's get over there. Particularists over here. That's fun. Uh, we got that fort, so let's go to sign up. Actually, you can get the general now. Yeah, just sit over here. We need to get that zone of control under control here. Gascony, Normandy, you guys are just kind of doing nothing really useful right now. Everyone's just swarming and being weird. Mantua is done. Excellent. Go to Milan. He is abandoning his siege of Provence. We were at Separatists, Malacan Separatists, Great Expectations, Lose Power, I don't think I want to lose... Uh, I don't really want to lose 100 admin power for that, it's just not worth it. We've won the Siege of Nizwa. So I got that back. Okay, hang on, let's see where he's going. He might be trying to sneak around and I'd like to kill them. 57% war score now. Man, getting any meaningful amount of war score is just difficult. I don't know if you've noticed this. It's tough. I'm going to keep these troops in a Dern again. If he does bring anything across, I want to control both sides, of the, uh, both straight crossings, so he can't do anything. Blow open Milan. Speed that up. Blow open Alexandria. Speed that up. We've spent so much power. Uh, did he actually manage to sneak around me with this army? I think he did. Well, I'll be danged. Let's see if I can catch him. Alright, tell you what. If you're gonna get away, then let's just go kill this 15 stack. More revolts. Irritating. 
Kill 16,000 troops. Easy kills. This is going to be a problem. We're going to have to pay attention to that. That's a bad fight against uh, Transoxiana. I really don't know what you're doing in fighting in the marsh here, but okay. So let's get you over there. Castile declared war on revolutionary France. It happened. They are indeed revolutionary. What do you freaking know? Castile's trying to crush the revolution. Yeah, you do that. I certainly don't like the revolution existing right now. Gives them a uh, cast a spelly that is, believe it or not, better than imperialism. That they can use against me. Alright, he's trying to sneak around me. But I'm just going to turn around and kill him. There we go. You're not going anywhere. Fourth, first. I'm going to arrive first. That's fine. Oh, the Ottomans are sieging down Normandy. That was what you decided to do with your time? Alright. So Milan is done. 59% war score now. I'm not sure what to do with these armies. So I'm going to have you actually try to go and attack him. Still working on Tyrol. Everyone else should be able to siege down everything in this area. Carpet siege like crazy. Give him as much war exhaustion as possible. I'm controlling both sides of the straits. I somehow need to get more of these forts down. Um, I'm going to speed you up by blowing open the wall. 62,000 troops moving up toward Ostrakhan. Delhi is now finally starting to participate. Do I dare peace out someone like Transoxiana right now? And lose the war score just to kind of get something to work on. No, 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 no. Don't lose sight of the goal. The goal has to be... I'm going to chase this guy down. Do not get eager. Do not peace out things that don't matter. We got a lot of Vassal Swarm uh, troops on the way. A little late, I'll say. But they are on the way. He's not going to let me cross these straits. And that's fine. We need to end this video. But we're looking solid. If I hold on to this, I think we're going to be fine. I think we are going to take this all the way to the five years. We'll get as many kills as we can. Um... But I think that's going to be fine. I think I think we are going to hold on to the five years. Try going for the 100% peace deal if possible. Let's take a little less attrition. And yeah, we're going to hold on to these guys, not peace them out. Well, I, take, I say that. And then we have massive peasant swarms. The vassal swarm's on the way, so it should only get easier from here. We have a ticking war score in our favor. We can get at least another 17.4 war score just by sitting on this and doing nothing. But I'm already working on like four or five more forts. And somehow I've got to get through Anatolia. Somehow. All right. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.